they beat you for them really soundly less than two weeks ago. Did you, and they get badly back, were there something this week that made you think that this game would be much more competitive, or were you kind of curious how it was going to go? Um, I wasn't curious. I was just, I knew we were going to win the game. As, as a team, we were just excited. Um, when the ball went out of bounds, and they were discussing what was going on, buzz, everybody tells in the huddle. You watched the film. We're going to win the game. I don't know, we just, we knew what we needed to fix, and we did it, and it was aggressive. What, you, what was your left ankle? What did you fix? Yeah, what was the thing? Uh, just boxing out. Uh, a, lot of, a, lot of, um, a lot of times, last time, they had a lot of kick-out threes, and we adjusted. Uh, they didn't have a lot of kick-out threes. Um, we, just, we knew it was a grind, and we just stayed in the game. They, hit, they had runs, and we responded last time. We didn't respond. That's why they came. I know you want to take one game at a time and all those kind of things and win the next one. You have to feel like you're in a good position to make the NCAA tournament. Thank you, Justin. What do you do? Are you not supposed to answer that question? Uh, I can answer it, but I don't want to take something. Yeah. How ironic is it that uh, there's a team that had trouble uh, giving up second chance, po ch second chance points so many times this year that you guys won arguably your biggest game on a second chance bucket like that? Oh, man. That's, that's so ironic. Uh, it's kind of like the tie thing last year. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, that's just, I just show how, how we just don't give up as a team. And, uh, I thought Kiel, when Kiel shot the ball, was a great shot. But, uh -huh. you know, that's how big Chris is. Big game what was the energy? What does it say about you guys falling down double digits against a team like that? A team that arguably could, could be the best team in the country and just able to come back. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Um, um, I would say the fan support. And just a lot, like, just when they went up, it was just self-inflicted. Like, mm -hmm. we, we just weren't playing good defense as a team together. And uh, we knew that they weren't going to be anything really special. It was just us. And uh, we figured out that we needed stops. And, Thank you, Justin. Talk about the and I told him at halftime we're going to need him whether he knows it or not. And uh, uh, when I threw him the pass in the two three zone and dunked it, I knew uh, when he got the rebound and he was going, he was going to try to will his way regardless because I played All him I can so say long. Is, uh, I know how he is, so I thought it was a great shot. He might have got fouled, but then for him to come back and follow up and know that it's the second shot, not the first. How was your How was your ankle? Was it? It looked all right after you got it loosened up, but I don't know. Buzz didn't also trust me when I was in my other shoes. I was limping really bad. Been able to react. Um, what, what goes it's on good, the good now. It's a little slower. You guys know that. I'm doing it. Twist it. I threw a pass and then I was looking at the pass. We are in my ankle. Right ankle. Left. Left. What is it to have won this game and punch your NCAA ticket with another big win? What does this mean to you guys? Forget the tournament. I'm just happy to get a win this year. Thank you, Dad. Thank you for giving so much to this program. Not done yet. I'm so proud of him. I told him before I was going to calm down because I was getting emotional. And just, just seeing guys like this here, hearing them right now, he's just seeing he's, he's, he's an energizer bunny, and that's what I love him. So I'm going to miss him. But he's happy that we could go out like this and catch him. You guys have beaten um, I was probably like one of the best crowds that I'm like. We've had since I've been here. We've had some really good ones, but I was like, like one of the best ones that I've played is at least. So their energy helped us. Like their energy, like if we can like go on a run, like we love it. Um, and we feel like we have one of the unique fan bases in like the ACC and in the country. So they really helped us tonight. What was the thought process? That whole last possession, the whatever, 23 seconds. What, what were you thinking during that whole possession? Uh, we wanted to get a good look, but we realized that a game isn't always one on the first shot. It's the second one, so we wanted to crash. And um, realized that there's going to be time on the clock, so we got to like be able to like, load, load to the ball, make sure everybody's guarded, and uh, get that stop. Congrats. Thank you. How ironic is it that there's a team that's had trouble this year giving up a lot of second-chance points that you you know, pretty much punch your ticket to the dance on a second-chance bucket yourselves? <laughs> um... I guess it's ironic, like, like we haven't really like thought about that. It's just we feel like we're getting better each and every game. So they give you guys the ball back. We like we felt like we corrected some things from last game, um, some things from like the time before we played because they kind of blistered us. Like they obviously blistered us on their court. So we wanted to fix those things and like continue. To, like we got these good looks, we continue to do this and uh, we got a good win against a really good team. That's twice you've been able to come back after a Saturday Saturday loss and win on a big Monday game against a top ten team. Is it is it in some ways easier to get over quicker? when you know you have a game coming up just two days later, you don't have a lot of time to dwell on it. It's a luxury. Like, you don't have to think about that loss all week. You can just, we did this wrong. We're not going to do that next game. So. Arguably, it, was, it just feels great. All right, thanks, KJ. Thank you. A lot of people didn't think it was a pass. Right? <laughs> we knew. What, what, what was it like watching that? Watching it miss, first of all, and then seeing what Chris did. Like in the air, like, 
Oh, oh my God, I'm about to hit it. Oh. Hit it? Up. It was like, yeah. Best miss you of your first. career? Yes, yeah. definitely. <laughs> hey, before you played Kentucky, we asked you about, you know, your cousin and all that, and you talked about maybe them being on the, the bigger stage of Kentucky. You now wins over number one and number five. Do you feel like that elevates this program? Uh, for sure. I, I think as time progresses, uh, we're starting to show everyone that Virginia Tech is also a basketball school. Uh, like the hard work all my teammates put in is, is really showing us. And I assume that you came here expecting or thinking this could be a tournament team this year. Was there any moment during the season where it felt like it was slipping away that it's kind of like you didn't know you'd be at this moment right now? Never. Never. I mean, in life, is, you're going to have ups and downs. So it's just like being ready for that down and getting ready to bounce back. Like being comfortable 2-4 and four in the ACC. And then it's like, okay, now we got to get back to the grind. How are we going to do it? You know what I'm saying? After boot camp, it's like, what, 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 what can really like them? Like, there's nothing. So I think that's a true testimony of this team. Does the ACC help you in the sense that, I mean, if you're bad, it can just bury you. But you knew on your schedule there was plenty of big games left. Does that help you in a sense? Oh, for sure. Uh, you look at it as an opportunity. Um, you don't fear anyone. So you just go out there and have fun. I feel like it's a great test. Like we get to go against the top five teams in the country. Everyone would like to do that. We get to beat the top five teams in the country. So like just on top of that, it's like capitalizing on opportunities and making sure that any time we had a chance, we were well prepared. Awesome. Thanks, man. Congratulations. When you're on the court against a team that has, you know, maybe five first-round picks like Duke has, uh, and you have such a big game, um, does that help your confidence going forward as a player individually? Uh, yeah. Not that you weren't already confident. But, feels, yeah. I know what you mean. It yeah. just feels like you belong. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. you, you see yourself do that thing, and you're like, okay, well, I can do this. It's, it's like no one else is going to do this. So you just feel really, really confident, and you know what you did right and what you did wrong. So you just get to feel for that. I think it's, it's a jump start, definitely. Thanks to.